Hello, Marvelites, and welcome to a very special edition of Marvel Live, presented by Toyota Sienna. I'm Ryan Panagos, and I'm very excited because today we're going to be talking about something very near and dear to my heart, the X-Men. And I can't do it alone because I am joined by writer Vita Ayala to talk about some of the books that they're working on right now, New Mutants and Children of the Atom. We're going to get into some, maybe some spoiler talk, talk about some cliffhangers, and of course, a little bit of a tease of things to come. Before we get into all of that, let's take a special look into these books and what Vita's been working on lately. Vita Ayala, hello! Welcome to Marvel Live. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Excited to be back on uh, on Marvel Live and to see your your face again. It's been too long. Too long. All right, Vita. We have to talk about the cliffhanger at the end of Children of the Atom number one. And for everybody watching, spoiler warning. We're gonna get into a little bit about the book, so make sure you've read it or you're gonna read it again. Uh, pause us. Read it. Come back. Hi. How are you? Hope you enjoyed it. Okay. So the ending. Two Children of the Atom, number one. Let's dish. What's going on? Yeah, uh, it's so strange to be able to finally talk about it because, you know, it was rescheduled for a year. <laughs> so I wasn't quite sure when when I'd be able to finally talk about uh, the, the, the big reveal that the kids are uh, maybe not what they see. Maybe they're not mutants after all, uh, which is not something that I actually came up with. That was something that was kind of baked into the concept. And I was like, all right, let's do this in the in the most hard hitting way that we possibly can. Um, but yeah, it's an X line book from the other side, right? It's the only only human perspective book that we have in the X line right now. How much fun is it for you to to get to write characters that are, are brand new and you're really putting your stamp on them uh, for, for you and their first appearances here, but also folks like Storm and Cyclops and Jean and Wolverine and Nightcrawler. It was, it was wild. Um, there was months and months and months of development for the kids uh, of the book before I even sat down to start writing. Um, and so, you know, we put a lot of work in who they were long before they show up on the page. So it was really incredible to see them kind of come to life. Um, it feels really special. Um, and then of course, like writing Storm and Wolverine and Nightcrawler. I mean, kind of, I had carp launched to just pick a bunch of x-men and put them in a scene in this book uh and so of course i everyone has their team right and so i just assembled a bunch of people that i thought would be good in a scene um any any excuse to write storm and wolverine both of them just a hundred percent we've talked a little bit about the end of children of the atom number one and i really love that final image of the book of the kids having gone through all this stuff. And it's a it's a great reminder that the X-Men stories are action and adventure and, and romance and drama and <laughs> so much heartbreak. Yeah, it's it's you know, who amongst us hasn't wished that they had they were special in that way, right? And who amongst us doesn't have heroes that they look up to that are, you know, Maybe not in real life, they don't have mutant powers, but have, you know, something that we don't have that we aspire to. Um, I wanted to kind of touch on that, especially, you know, looking back on what it was like, you know, when I was a teen and, and kind of what aspirations I had and what I wanted for myself. But I also wanted to talk about, I mean, these kids, yeah, it turns out they can't walk through the gates, right? But they can do so many incredible things. Um, and part of their journey is kind of 
going to be to learn like no what you what you can do is very good what you can do is very special just because it isn't what you had hoped it was doesn't mean that it's not valid um and also there are more surprises about people's status coming down the line so i i won't make any promises about anything in particular but. okay you got us on the hook it's very good uh but we have to talk about another one of your titles which is new mutants and speaking of heartbreak i want to get into a whole, whole bunch of things but what are you doing to rain sinclair and why are you doing this to me i am very upset with you i've been it's waiting to personal. tell you about this <laughs> it's not personal i love mm -hmm. rain she's one of my favorites um for me the moment after you get what you've always wanted right so mutants have been persecuted and hunted and, and killed um and they finally have this this safe place of their own this country of their own um but that doesn't erase everything that's come before right so like you know for a while you celebrate you're like we made it we're alive that jubilant feeling then it's like oh wait everything that's happened to me is not gone i have to still deal with all of the things that i have inside me just because i found a moment of safety doesn't mean suddenly that everything's better um, and for me, Rain has always been a character that's had a lot of had a lot of stuff going on. All right. Another thing I love about New Mutants is y'all are getting to use the Shadow King, who, for my money, is one of the most terrifying X Men villains. But you have him in the middle of the book, shaping young mutant minds. Uh, it's it's really fun and really something. Yeah, I, it's, a, it's a hard line to walk, right? Because uh, one of the things that, you know, is encouraged on the island, right? Be as mutant as you can be, be true to your mutant nature. But what does that mean for characters whose mutant nature is, is seems to be inextricably twined with doing things that are harmful? Um, I wanted to kind of explore that a little bit and also touch on the things about him that are, that you can have sympathy for. I know that sounds really weird, but you have this character who we've kind of set up to be someone who has also suffered as a child and, and further that, that really changed him and really, really hurt him. Um, and I wanted to show that like, that that's a thing too. I, there's nothing that I am less interested in than a villain that's like a cardboard cutout. He's he's the scare one of the scariest ones to me because he doesn't kill you. Oh. <laughs> he keeps you. And yeah. that's terrifying to me, you know, like, and, and I wanted to kind of explore how like, I don't know if he thinks that he's wrong. For you, what draws you to the X-Men? Like the, I, when I say the X-Men, I mean just like mutantdom, the various iterations. A lot of it speaks to different parts of my life and timeframes. What was it like for you? But for me, I, I was always drawn to mutants in particular because they're so weird and so messed up and so like, they have these, strange and fantastical powers, but it doesn't solve their problems at all. <laughs> it just usually just ends up making it worse. <laughs> yeah. And I find that really interesting because when we think about superpowers and superheroes and all of that kind of cape stuff, it's always like, oh, I have this power and it makes me more efficient or it makes me this. And so, you know, then my enemies have to have escalating powers and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I find that really interesting. But for me, the X-Men, it's like, oh, like, any one of them, you're like, oh, you have godlike power, but it's only ruined your life. Like it's only, <laughs> it's only made everything really difficult. Um, but you still persist anyway, and you're finding ways to build community and to problem solve despite having this, you know, this target on your back. Uh, you had mentioned that there were some themes and some, some things that you had been thinking about for a long time. That you're happy that you're actually able to bring them to life in the comics that you're writing right now for Marvel. What are some of those themes and some of those ideas and, and you know, things that you wanted to make sure came across in your work and your life? Yeah, uh, for me, uh, and this goes back to what I really like about me like in general, I guess, as well. Um, I wanted to talk about community and about how an individual person can go through all kinds of pain and trauma. How do you connect with other people and help kind of uplift each other? Um, that kind of stuff really interests me. Um, uh, also the idea of kind of people having conversations around each other, not understanding that they're not having the same conversation and the, what those misunderstandings can lead to in terms of like, not just conflict, but in terms of coming back together and, 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 and being friends or family and being stronger. Okay, Vita, before we let you go, please give us another little tease for both New Mutants and Children of the Atom. Uh, the Children of the Atom, uh, those kids get into a lot of trouble. Again, I don't know how much I could spoil, but uh, you think you know what's going on after the end of the first issue. You think you know all the players and all, you know, how all the pieces fit together, and it's not true. You do not know what's going on. 
<laughs> and as for new mutants, uh, it's just going to get creepier, hopefully. Uh, but also, there will be some relief. <laughs> the plan is intense, you know, angst, action, but pizza parties too. Awesome. I can't wait for everybody to check out these books. Vita, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's been really awesome. All right, y'all, make sure to go to your local comic shop or the Marvel Comics app to pick up Children of the Atom number one on sale now, New Mutants number 17, available in April, and the Hellfire Gala coming in June. I'm so excited for it, you guys. Whew, it's going to be great. I'm Ryan Panagos, and you've been watching Marvel Live, presented by Toyota Sienna.